Is that what Paul told King Agrippa? This thing was not done in a corner. Man. When Paul got through with King Agrippa, you know what King Agrippa said? Oh. Paul, you almost persuade me to be a Christian. Man. Paul said, I hope not almost, mm -hmm. but all together. Yeah. Not only you, King Agrippa, but all of these folks listening to me. Yeah. I hope all of them will be Christian when I get through preaching. Yes, sir. Paul told King Agrippa, believe us now the prophet. King Agrippa, I know you believe. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to say you believe because all of these folks around you. You don't want to lose your congregation. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. You worry about them leaving. I ain't worried about nobody in this building leaving. If they want to leave, let them leave. Let them leave. Preachers want to leave, let them leave. Let them leave. Deacons want to leave, let them leave. I ain't worried about nobody leaving. Oh, sir. Praise him. I got a charge of keeping a God to glorify. Amen. Lord said, I got 7,000 in bow their knees. 7,000. Lord, hallelujah. The Lord give me some strength. Seems like he don't inject me with something. Yeah, Bishop. You got it. Uh, is that what Jesus said? Somebody touch me. He said, Master, all these folks around you, grabbing on you, and you say somebody touch you. But Jesus said, this was a special touch. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? I said the birth, Lord Jesus. I feel good tonight. Thank you, Lord. The birth. Praise him. I feel good. Thank all you, right, Lord. now. Jesus, I feel like Paul tonight, but I got to keep going. I need to wrap it up so these children can get to school. Bless but I'm telling you, when you feel the power of the Holy Ghost, yes, Lord, Lord, bless the children. They'll be all right. All right. Yes, indeed. Oh, praise him. I feel all right. Come on, deacon. But that it spread no further among the people, mm -hmm. let us straightly threaten them. Yes, threaten us. That they speak henceforth to no man in this name. Mm -hmm. And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of Jesus. You can't close my big mouth up. Because mm -hmm. God opened it wide. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if God opened it wide, who can close it? And no man close it, Bishop. When no got in the who shut the door? God shut the door. God. Say, if God shut the door, who can open it? And no man open it. And if God opened up the door, who can shut it? And no man. Say, if God opened up my big mouth, who can shut it up? No man. Ain't nobody going to shut it up. No, sir. Don't hear this. <laughs> huh? He opened it up for a reason yeah. so I can cry loud, lift up my voice like yeah. a trumpet, and show my people their transgression. Yeah. Let you know if you live right, you go to heaven. If you live like the devil and follow the devil, live ungodly life and don't want to humble yourself, to hell you go. That's it. Simple. Praise him. Read. But Peter and John, Peter and John, answered and said unto them, Whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you, more than unto God, judge ye. For we cannot but speak the thing which we have seen and heard. Mm. Yes, sir. I'm supposed to speak what they want me to speak. No, Bishop. Read. So when they had further threatened them, mm -hmm. they let them go. Let them go. Finding nothing how they might punish them because of the people, for all men glorified God for that which was done. For the man was above 40 years old, on whom this miracle of healing was shown. Keep reading. And being let go, they went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and the elders had said unto them. And when they heard that, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord, thou art God, which have made heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them is who by the mouth of thy servant David have said, why did the heathen rage and the people Amen. imagine vain things? And the kings of the earth stood up, and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his Christ. The Lord is stood against the Lord and against his Christ. Yes, for of a truth against thy holy child Jesus. You see that whose child? The holy child. Thy holy child. Thy holy God's holy child Jesus. Whom thou Read. Both Herod and Pontius, Pilate, with the Gentiles, and the people of Israel were gathered together. For to do whatsoever that thy hand and thy counsel determined before to be done. They thought they were doing something new. Yes. You wasn't doing nothing new when you crucified my Jesus. No, sir, it was already predestined. Yeah, already. Uh, it was already done. You just carried out what God wanted you to do. That's right. You thought you did something great. It was already predetermined. Pre. Yes. Uh, you get a preview of what is to come. Mm -hmm. Read. 
And now, Lord, now, Lord, behold their threatening. Behold their threatening. Grant unto thy servants. Grant unto thy servants. With all boldness. See, that's what I want the Lord to give me. Boldness. All boldness. They may speak thy word. Now I'm going to speak the word. Yeah, by stretch, stretching forth their hands. Stretching forth your hands. And the, with that signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. May be done by the name of thy holy child, Jesus. By the name of thy holy child, what? By Jesus. Jesus. And when they had prayed, when they had prayed, the place was shaken. Lord have mercy. Don't y'all want the Lord to shake the house? Oh, shake the house, Lord. Stir and that's why we're here tonight to shake houses. Shake the house. Uh, and if the house is not built on that rock, and that rock is Jesus, that house is coming down. Yes, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. We got, we, we got to close out. All right. I'm, I'm going to tell you this before we close out. Listen to me. I'm not here to destroy nobody. No, sir, Bishop. I'm just like Jesus. I'm going to give you my final scripture to show you what Jesus did. Luke chapter number 9. Oh, praise him. Luke chapter number 9. Oh, hallelujah. Luke chapter number 9, I believe verse 52. Verse 52 through 56. Read. And sent messengers mm -hmm. before his face, and they went and entered into a village of the Samaritan to make ready for him. Yes. And they did not receive him. They did not receive him. Because his face was as though he would go to Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. When his disciples James and John saw this. When James and J John saw that, you understand, they did not want to accept Jesus. The Samaritans didn't want nothing to do with Jesus. Listen to what they want to do. They said, Lord. They said, Lord. Will thou that we command fire to come down from heaven? <laughs> they got beside themselves. Yeah. Lord, can we call fire down from heaven and kill these? Folks consume them and consume them. Elias did, and Just, Elias did. but they, they don't forgot, they don't know what Elias did. Elias called for fire, but not to destroy men, but to destroy the sacrifice. You see, sometimes we get ahead of God. All right, now one of our late ministers said, Don't get ahead of me, don't make it ahead. <laughs> Praise the Lord, don't get you understand, in front of God. Yeah. Don't try to call on fire. I'm not here to destroy folk, but I'm here to call on fire from heaven to destroy and consume sin, wrong and unrighteousness, not people. But if unrighteousness is in you, you're going to be destroyed. Amen, Bishop. Just like that devil got into that, that pigs, mm -hmm. what did them pigs do? They, jumped over the they went over the cliff and drowned themselves. Yes, sir, Bishop. <laughs> I ain't going to let them devil save me. If I got to die with these devils in me, I prefer to die than to live with devils in me. Why you feel so happy living with devils in you? Mm. Get rid of them devils. Kick them out. Kick them out. Praise him. Read. But he turned. Jesus turned. And rebuked them. And rebuked and them. Said, and said. And said. Know not what manner of spirit ye are of. All right. My voice is toning down. You don't know what manner of spirit you are. Read. The son of man is not come to the destroy. The son of man is not come. To destroy men's lives. To destroy men's lives. But to save them. But to save them. And they went to another village. See, they went to another village. You know what Jesus said? Mm -hmm. I didn't come to destroy lives. Mm -hmm. But I came to do what? To save. To save. I came to save. To save. Yes, if you listen to me, my friend, you'll be saved. Amen. You'll be delivered. You'll be set free. Remember this. We're not mad. Amen. We're not crazy. <laughs> I'm not losing my mind. Mm -hmm. I'm not on drugs. No, uh, I'm just on the Holy Ghost. That's right. And the Lord done woke me up yes. to warn you and to tell you that which is right. Praise the Lord. If you want to be saved, Peter gave the key, Acts 2.38. That's right. Repent and be baptized, black, white, yellow, green, purple, orange, no whatever color you may be, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. We love you. We're praying for you. Amen. We're praying for our government officials, those incarcerated, Amen. those that have been affected by the storms. Amen. We're praying for you. Those in the hospitals, we're praying for you, my friend, that the God of all grace will have mercy mm -hmm. and raise you up. And you know what I usually say by now before I leave you. I'll be back. God bless you.